Today was a big day for Boom Supersonic unveiling a new Overture design. However, there's more to the recent Overture announcement. As promised, this video will cover it. Alongside the new design, they announced several strategic partnerships to help produce this aircraft. Beginning off the bat, Boom has partnered with Collins Aerospace for the first major aircraft systems for the Overture, which means that the two companies will develop critical systems and components for said plane. Engineers at Collins will perform fundamental aerodynamic analysis to evaluate the various parts of the Overture. Assessing air data systems will also be a part of the partnership so that Overture can meet the field performance and range requirements, which is naturally challenging. While the partnership has been announced today, it does build upon years of collaboration, which was aimed at improving the overall propulsion systems and minimizing aircraft noise. These key technologies were made possible thanks to Collins Aerospace. A collaboration with Eden was also announced to develop Overture's fuel distribution, measurement and entering systems. Eaton will contribute their expertise in the sector and much more to help make the Overture what it is intended to be and that is an industry leader. Next, Boom and Northrop Grumman have collaborated to help provide supersonic special mission aircraft to the United States government and also allies. Potential applications for supersonic aircraft in this format were announced. It could include quick reaction surveillance and reconnaissance, command and control, mobility and logistic missions, such as say emergency evacuations of troops, therefore acting as a transporter. The partnership Boom labels as a positive one is an advancement and offers an alternative for the company moving forward. Ultimately though, Boom still has a lot to prove and this is something I've never been afraid to discuss. Following all these announcements, we still don't have an engine confirmed. Now the Overture has four of them per plane with the revised design and its ambitious targets to meet production and rollout during the midpoint of this decade are even more ambitious nowadays if that's even possible given that the quick turnaround times are barely achievable for an established aircraft manufacturer like Airbus and or Boeing who also incur sizable delays to not even a clean sheet plane from first flight to delivery. The CEO of Boom has also said that they are making progress behind the scenes regarding the engines, but aren't ready to announce anything, which is understandable, but it's not the first time this has been noted. Comments such as these can date back to 2017, with talk at that point emphasizing a decision would come the following year in 2018. Securing an engine for the Overture is the most pressing topic for Boom. It's fundamental to the success of the aircraft and even the general production, and engines are not something that A, will appear magically overnight, so it is a long drawn out process, and B, they can't be certified overnight, let alone something for Boom Supersonic. But as a lot of people have said, the clock is certainly ticking. Boom has a lot to prove, and I'm intrigued to see how they go about this in the coming years. To the Flesh Cuban, Neil, Don, Stefan, Jam, and finally Eric McGee, thanks for being channel members. I'm now wanting to hear your take on the situation, not just related to all the new strategic partnerships that were announced, but also your thoughts on the engines still missing from the overall announcements. You can let me know, but you can let me know your thoughts down in the comments.